What's up guys? Welcome back to another video with the Math Maker. My name is Jordan and today we will be talking about multiplication. Multiplication is similar to addition in a very in very in many ways because they are both adding or adding in some type of way more numbers. Multiplication is just another way of adding more numbers in a simpler way. So let's say you have to add Four times plus four plus four. That would equal 12. I know I'm doing some basic skills like multiplication, but it, it, but it is because I had a request from somebody to go do this. Um, plus, I'm not always sure who, what age group is certainly watching this, so, so I can get a better understanding of who or... Or what type of math videos I should put out? I can you please kind of comment down below so I can have a good idea of what age group is watching. Also, I'm starting an engineering channel called the Master Maker. Um, I'm going to be making it today. Starting it today. Today is just going to be an introduction. So back to multiplication. This is actually not supposed to be here because this can also represent multiplication. So multiplication is just another way of adding. It's just a different way. So instead of adding four plus four plus four, which would equal 12, you could do something like four times three because there is three fours. One, the, one, the first four, the second four, and the third four. So I'm not actually going to just be starting out with fours. I'm going to do, like I said, I'm, I don't know who's really watching this. So I'm going to start out with um, smaller numbers like one, two, three. Zero is nothing really special. Because on zero, you don't really multiply anything. Anything times zero will always equal zero. So, stuff for 0 and 1 is kind of easy because, like I said, anything times 0. 5 times 0. So, let's say you ever get anything like that. Let me write out the whole list, actually. Even though numbers going forever, but the standard list. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Times zero would equal zero. It doesn't care how you write it. Right. So the reason because of this why it would equal zero is because whenever you have one, if you multiply that by zero, there you wouldn't get any number because zero is not you don't there is nothing when you have zero. When you have zero, that's nothing. So I have two markers and I want to multiply that by uh two scissors. But I don't have any scissors, so I have to multiply it by zero scissors. How much scissors would I have after that? Zero still. So you wouldn't really look on this number because you would be multiplying it by this one. And after you get this one, then it's like, what would it actually be? So zero times any number will always equal zero. So now, what happens if you erase the zero? One is also a very simple, um, is also a very simple um, thing the learn in multiplication? If you don't understand, please comment down below because multiplication is a somewhat of a hard skill for people. So then, like I said, please let me know if you don't understand. So then let's say we're adding one. One, 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 one. I know it looks like just one big line, but let's say you add one to any number. If you multiply one by a number, multiply one marker times another marker. You're not adding it, you're multiplying it. 
which means you're putting them together it's somewhat similar to adding but you're not actually adding it like i said multiplying you're kind of putting it together so one net marker times one marker is still going to be one marker because you only had one marker to start with not that you had another marker but you only had one marker not that i had two markers like i would here it's one marker times the same marker again and then that would equal one so anything so when i mean this i mean well, after i say this Anything times the number is what the number is. So if it's like 2 times 1, it's going to equal 2. Whatever the other number is, not 1, because if it's 1 times 1, it's going to equal 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What? The other number that you're multiplying 1 by, the other multiple, because that's, that's what these are called. 1, 2. This would be the product. The two multiples would be the thing you multiply a number by, another number, to get the product. And the product is the answer. So then the answer would be also named as a product, which would be 1 in this case. So whatever times 1, whatever number, so if it's 36 times 1, 209 times 1 is going to equal 36, 209, whatever the other number is. So unless it's 0 times 1, it's going to equal 0. Or 1 times 1, it's going to equal 1. It's always going to equal the other number, not 1. I hope you guys didn't get confused on that. And then count, and then 2's isn't much of a problem either because... Counting by two, it's kind of like skip counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight. But still, it's needed. So, let's say you're doing that. So then you would have one times two. We, all, we, know, we, we already know that anything times one is going to be that number. So since one times two, since one times any number is its number, one times two, would be two. This this um skill multiplication, which is like I said, a little bit hard, also goes with things like exponents. But like I, I already did a video on that. I will have to redo a video on that now since I'm teaching multiplication. So then one times two would equal two. Two times two would equal four. Because this is what you would be doing when you're doing 2 times 2. And 3 times 2 would equal 6. So now let me show you what is technically happening. For the visual learners, I'll do kind of a grid. For 2 times 2, 2 times 2. It's kind of like you're adding them together to get whatever your answer is. But you're not. It's kind of just a mental skill. Mental meaning in your mind. You're able to do it in your head or your mind. So then we already know 2 plus 2 equals 4. Everybody technically knows that. Unless you're a 2-year-old or young. But of course, we already know that 2 plus 2 equals 4. So two twos, and it's going to sound confusing until I explain it. You have two twos. So in this two, you have one more two. So now you have two, then you have one more two in this. So in this circle, you have one more circle under it, under it, and then for this one, you have one more circle under that one, which would mean you will have two, one, two, twos, one, two, three, four, or one, two, one, two. Now to make it a little, also to explain a little bit better, if you did this, let me erase this. I'm going to put that back up after I'm done. But then if you did this, you have 2 times 2. It would mean you have 1, 2. 2, 1, 2. Uh, so you have this number, which would be 2. This is a 2 and this is a 2. But then you would have 2 of those numbers. 
So now using the number two is a little bit confusing when you're using both of them at the same time. So then how about I switch it up and use three times two. So three times two would be like this. For the visual way, with the um, circles, it would be one, two, three. And then you would have three twos, meaning each one of these would have one more, or there would be two. Two, two, two. So, and see, all of these have two. Another way you can do multiplication with twos is by skip counting. But then, let's just say um, you're doing this. So, after that, here is another way, like I, I did you, showing you the visual, and I'm going to show you what numbers, and now a picture. So then, let's say you have three. You have three twos, or you can turn around the way, because it doesn't really care. Uh, it can be any way you want it. So it can be two times three equals six, or three times two equals six. Now, it doesn't usually matter, but in this case, where I am explaining it, it's going to matter because it depends on how you write it. If it's two times three, it's going to show that you have two, 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 two threes. So two, two plus two, two plus two plus two would equal six. So these would be two or three twos. And that's what that one would show. Over here, this first sentence or a multiplication sentence would show you having three groups of two now if you want to switch that around now and switch it where it would be more like this now this would be different now you have two groups of three one three and two three three plus three equals six as we all know so since we have two groups of three that would equal six as the same as one, two, three groups of two. So it's kind of like adding these all together, but you wouldn't be adding them. You would be multiplying them by the number sentence. So for this, three plus three is six. Two plus two plus two is six. So you would have two groups, first group, second group, of three and since those two groups of three equals six because three plus three equals six it's going to be the same exact for this one multiplication kind of gets harder the higher the number is so then for this one it would be two three groups of three the first group of three the second group of three and the third group of three that's what how that's Sometimes, why the way the number is written would count, but then also, why well, it doesn't count if you already can do it in your head as mental math. So then, after you have that, you would have two groups, two groups of three would equal six. Two groups of three, one, two, or three groups of two. Right now, I'm turning the multiplication symbol into groups instead of making it a symbol let me fix this free because it kind of looks like a five so then right now i'm making the multiplication the groups so you would have one the x sign which also stands for multiplication which stands for multiplication would be my groups so one more thing i want to show you is also how what another way a multiplication sign can be written another way a multiplication sign can be written written is as a dot a dot is another way of writing a multiplication sign so then if you ever see three dot two and it's not a decimal and you know it's not a decimal and you see it right in the middle towards the top that's how you know it's a multiplication it's just another way of writing multiplication and i'm pretty sure almost everybody has seen this 
that you have this and then you have like a plus sign in between it. A multiplication sign and a plus sign. It's also known as a star on phones, but on in multiplication, if you ever see anything like that, that will show that it is also multiplication. It's a little bit tricky. Please do not forget to like and also subscribe. I hope you guys learned something today. Practice multiplication, plus you will need it when you get older. Not just for school, but also when you have a job and when you get older. Please like and subscribe. If this is one of your first time watching any of my videos, tap the notification bell to get more updates and when I post my videos. Comment down below if you have any questions about anything I've thought today. And also, if you want me to do a certain math video. But for now, I'm going to be doing multiplication. I also, like I said earlier, that I have another YouTube channel that I'm going to be doing once a week. It's where I'm going to be making things. It's going to be around me doing something once a week. Um, every week. So then I'm going to... My date, I think I'm going to usually do it on, like, a Saturday. And that would be me doing my engineering channel. But then I'll also be doing my math channel. So I hope you guys will, I hope you guys will enjoy that. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.